Is this the future of the weather forecast? Meet Tempest, a personal weather system which we believe is leading the way in revolutionizing the weather forecast industry. Legacy weather forecast systems rely on weather balloons, satellites, and weather stations such as the ones located at airports as a starting point of a forecast. The biggest issue with traditional weather forecasting is that there are simply not enough weather stations, so the forecasting system has to fill in the blanks in between the weather stations that exist, which drastically reduces the forecast accuracy for most locations. Enter Tempest, which is a wireless weather station that collects various weather readings for your location, sends it to the cloud where an AI-driven process verifies the data and adjusts the forecast for your given location. Weatherflow, the company behind this weather station, is so confident in its product that it guarantees that the Tempest system will produce a better forecast for the specific location where the Tempest is installed, or you can request a refund. While we've purchased the two previous stations ourselves, this unit was sent to us by Weatherflow to review. For the past six months, we put both the Tempest weather station and the Tempest forecast to the test. Since we're kite surfing junkies and we check the forecast several times a day, Half a year later, we've got a pretty good understanding of where the Tempest stands in terms of the grand scheme of things. Before we jump into Tempest forecasting abilities, let's briefly talk about the device itself. Tempest is the successor to the Smart Weather Station, which we reviewed over a year ago. The biggest differences between these two units are the built-in solar panels, integration of the old sky and air sensors into one unit, and a redesigned app. In total, there are four solar panels which take less than a day to fully charge the lithium titanate rechargeable battery, which can last up to two weeks without any sun at all. While we had some issues with the solar panel accessories on the original smart weather station, as the battery died prematurely and had to be replaced under warranty, we have not yet experienced any issues with the Tempest. Another welcomed upgrade from the previous station is the addition of a radiator which holds the temperature sensor. This means that you can place the Tempest unit in direct sunlight and still get an accurate temperature reading. In addition to the temperature sensor, the Tempest weather station includes sunlight and rain sensors, ultrasonic wind meter, lightning detection, as well as humidity and pressure sensors. Most importantly, the Tempest is completely wireless and has a range of up to 300 meters. Now, if you're a weather geek like us, you can boost this signal with a directional antenna. Our Tempest unit is located over two kilometers away from the antenna. A quick note on the hub, it does need to be connected to a power source and have Wi-Fi signal. The Tempest weather system retails for $329 USD, but with the code ARKITELIFE, you can get an additional 10% off at the Weatherflow website. All the data from the Tempest gets uploaded to the cloud and can be displayed either via the Tempest app or the Tempest webpage. There are two parts to the app, the forecast page and the current conditions page. Current conditions tab shows you the real-time data from your Tempest sensor. You can click on individual tabs such as the wind speed or temperature and see a graph. There's also a history tab which will show you the daily lows and highs as well as a map of the weather flow stations which are set to public mode. As you can see, there are many of them. Now onto the forecast page where we get a snapshot of the current conditions on top, hourly short-term forecast in the middle, and down below a 10-day long-term forecast. You can click to expand the wind speed forecast. Unfortunately, the Tempest app does not show guest values. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the Tempest app produces its own forecast for its exact location. This is how it works. All existing weather data from satellites, aircraft, weather stations, and so on are combined with the Weatherflow's network of Tempest stations, including this one. The data from the Tempest goes through a quality control as not all measurements are of equal value. Just think of wind shadows or false rain readings. The validated information from the Tempest then gets combined with Weatherflow's proprietary forecast system, which uses both European and American weather models and gets post-processed by AI, which results in a hyper-local forecast. Okay, that was a mouthful. I'll try and break down how the Tempest forecast works step by step. The Tempest collects all the weather data every three seconds and sends it to the cloud. Not only do we know the current conditions, we have a database of old weather conditions at the sensor's location. This means it's possible to compare old observational data to the forecast that the Tempest predicted. Now, if you apply machine learning, computers can look for when the forecasts were right and when they were wrong and adjust accordingly. This means that the forecast will get more accurate over time due to the AI constantly retrospecting when the forecast was accurate and when it wasn't. Question is, does it work? Is the Tempest forecast more accurate than the competitors? Our answer is yes it is, but with a few caveats. Also note that we're focusing on the short-term forecast for the location of the Tempest station. 
Temperature-wise, the temperature forecast is hands down much more accurate than the government's forecast or the weather networks. Now this should not be surprising as the previous two forecast apps cover a large area, while the Tempest acts as both a weather station and a forecast for a specific location. With regard to the rainfall forecast, the percentages of rain seem to reflect reality more than the other apps that we use, but in one instance. Sometimes birds sit on the sensor, which causes false rain readings, which in turn prompts the Tempest to adjust the short-term forecast for incoming rain. If you think birds may be an issue where you install your sensor, make sure to use the bird deterrence in order to prevent the false rain readings. Be sure to install bird accessories away from the vibration isolator. Win-wise, we think the Tempest got better over time. When we got the device back in May, the Tempest would consistently overestimate the wind speed. Come summer, the Tempest did a 180 and consistently underestimated them. Starting in September, the Tempest started to be more in line with what was actually happening, and even at times, it would outperform the NAM 3km model and Weatherflow's own WFWRF model. Currently, based on our experience, the Tempest wind forecast is more accurate than most weather models for our location in the short term, and in the long term, we didn't notice a significant difference. Now let's talk about those caveats. First, as we mentioned earlier, the Tempest forecast does not show wind gusts, which is not a deal breaker, but gust values are usually a good indicator of how good the wind is going to be. Secondly, location, location, location. Don't place your sensor in a wind shadow and expect accurate forecasts. In fact, you may end up with less reliable data than the competitors. There are three sensors in our area and two of them are free of wind shadows and one is in a partial wind shadow. As you can see, the sensor in the wind shadow had a wind reading of only two knots, which affected the short-term forecast. Our guess is that the Tempest forecast validated the wind reading for this sensor, as on other wind directions, it is more accurate. At this point in time, if I had to choose only one wind forecast source from my kite beach, it would be the Tempest. Is it always 100% accurate? Of course not, but neither are the others. I do feel overall it is more accurate than the rest of the weather models out there. Realistically speaking, we are still using all the other weather models such as ECMWF, NAM, and WRF along with the Tempest forecast on a daily basis. You know, you always want to find the most optimistic forecast. From a wind forecast perspective, the Tempest's greatest benefit is its ability to produce a one-of-a-kind forecast for the very location that it's installed. However, the Tempest's weakness is its inability to see the big picture such as looking at the wind maps over various weather models. The premise of the closing of the gap between what was predicted and what actually happened is not new. Various weather offices around the globe frequently look back to see how good of a job they did. The big issue is the lack of weather stations, so you can't really compare what was forecasted to what actually happened on a local level. Having a weather station that is integrated with the forecast system solves that issue, so now you can truly have a local forecast. Continuous retrospecting of what was predicted against what actually happened improves the forecast over time, as we've witnessed. It will be interesting to see just how much more accurate weather forecasts can be with this new technology. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.